Well, have I offended you? Stay tuned. Welcome to Animated Christians. On this channel, we do questions about the church as well as original content. So, have I offended you by this title? Well, probably not if you're still watching this. But I would like to discuss what is offensive and what is the definition of the word offense. The dictionary definition is to affect the sense, taste, etc. disagreeability. This seems to be the current definition of offending. But more importantly, this is probably what offend means. To irritate, annoy, or anger, cause resentful displeasure. So, looking at this definition, we see the proper definition would be to annoy or anger someone, right? Now, this is not the definition we use for offending. Instead, we use another word that's called disagree. And a definition of disagreeing is to have a differing opinion. So, in looking at this definition, we see to disagree is to differ in opinion. But lately, we have used the word offense in replacement of what we truly mean is to disagree with whatever the other person is talking about. For example, I know some of you may disagree with some of my opinions on the church, but that does not mean you're hurting me. It just means you have a different opinion on what the church should look like. But there is a problem within the church right now, and that is the church is trying to appeal to everybody and not offend anyone. This is impossible to do. Now, you may say, why? That is because you are always gonna have someone who disagrees with you or is offended by you. But can you go with church and not offend anyone? Well, there is a way. The way not to offend anyone is to not talk, eat, swim, exercise, run, or do anything but be silent for the rest of your life. And you won't offend anyone. But the moment you stand, walk, exercise, then you already have offended someone. You have to know that there is 99% people can be on your side. But you're always going to have that 1% to 10% that dislikes you. If you look at Jesus' story, he offended the religious leaders of his time because they got away from the main message he was trying to spread. In John chapter 2 verses 13 through 17 says, The time was near to celebrate the Passover, the festival commemorating when God rescued his children from slavery in Egypt. So Jesus went to Jerusalem for the celebration. Upon arriving, he entered the temple to worship, but the porches and colonnades were filled with merchants selling sacrificial animals such as doves, oxen, and sheep. In exchanging money, Jesus fashioned a whip of cords and used it with skill driving out animals. He scattered the money and overturned the tables, emptying profiteers from the house of God. There were dove merchants still standing around, and Jesus reprimanded them. What are you still doing here? Get all your stuff and haul it out of here. Stop making my father's house a place for your own profit. The disciples were astonished, but they remembered that the Hebrew scripture said, Jealous devotion for God's house consumes me. You see, Jesus is offended in this verse because it got away from the true purpose that is supposed to be. Even 
in this verse, we see this a very rare moment. Jesus is offended because he saw these sacrifices be sold like the market. Think of it this way. If you opened your home for Jesus as a place of refuge for other people and all you wanted it to be when you put a sign that this refuge for people. Now, when you come back a year later, you notice your refuge place does not look like a refuge place anymore. More. But someone started selling money to get in or create a whole new business on your property, then you would be upset too. In this verse, this is exactly how Jesus felt. His home had been turned into something that it was not intended to be. In Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 says, In the same way that iron sharpens iron, a person sharpens the character of his friend. So we see here that we're supposed to sharpen one another. But how do we do this if we're always afraid of offending someone and keeping silent all the time? Yes, there will be people who disagree with you. You have to be okay with that. I want everyone to be able to sharpen one another and we need to get this word offense out of the church now what i am saying is not to be careful but be led by the spirit it's all right to give messages to other people that might not be the most kind if it is truthful and done right i remember a time in church where the lord gave me a disturbing message for that church and i did not want to deliver it but the lord said not all messages are Pretty. So I delivered the message and it's not something I had forgotten. So as long as you lead by the spirit to do these things, then you should be okay. Just don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. If you notice something wrong and would like to address it to some people who may appreciate it and some may take offense of it. So you have to be okay with that. All I'm saying is be okay to have differing opinions within the church. And sometimes you're going to offend someone. But you know the truth because it might be what they need to hear. And the only opportunity to do so. So I hope this message does not offend you too much. And join me next time where we will discuss what is a disciple. And never forget animated Christians is just for you.